when trapping a squirrel midden like this, snares work the best. What you're going to do is you're going to set your snare not on trails, but right in front of the entrances or holes going into these middens. And you'll want to set as many holes as you possibly can. Uh, if you've got a very limited amount of snares, snare whatever you can, the most active looking holes, and take big stumps and pieces of wood and jam the other holes closed and force them to go into the holes where your snares are. With our type of snare, it works really nice. You'll snare right in front of the hole like this, and you'll set your snare so it's the minute he touches the snare, it'll snap shut on him. All we've got to do now is attach the other end. I've got a piece of twine onto this wire, and we'll attach it firmly to something that's not going to move. Better still, uh, a deadfall snare or any other type of lifting device that'll bring, after the squirrel's been snared, to lift him off the ground is even a better way to go. Here's another very good spot in the winter or the summer to catch a snowshoe hare. In this particular case, there's a nice well-beaten trail coming into this area, a lot of rabbit dung all over this area. During the winter, you can see how they've chewed all the bark off of this aspen tree that was laying down right here. They've been frequent in this area a lot. Um, in the summertime, if we were here and we saw signs of this, we wouldn't have the advantage of being able to see his track so easily in the summertime. You have to be a little bit better at tracking than maybe what you might be right now. But you see this, you know that the rabbits or hares have been in this area. And we also know that they're on top of the snow. And uh, we know how deep the snow is in case you had a winter over this next year. You'd know how deep the snow is going to be approximately. In this particular case here, when we're talking a snowshoe hare, unlike a red squirrel, we're going to trap or snare the trail. We're not looking for a hole or anything like this. He's using this trail every day. That's something to remember. He's wearing a spruce forest right now. He doesn't eat in a spruce forest unless he's forced to. This was because of snow conditions. He travels every day on this trail, and he goes out to get willow or something similar like that. But he needs protection. When he's so feeding, he beats feet right back into the spruce forest where he's got some cover. So this trail is a good thing. He's using it every day. And so we're sure within one or two days at the outside, we're going to catch one of these snowshoe hares that's using this trail. Even though it's winter, there's a lot of plant life that's available to us for food. This injured spruce tree here is a real good example. Whenever there's an injury on a spruce tree or a pine tree, a lot of pitch will start to develop into these areas like right here. This is all edible, it's very nutritious. In fact, uh, some of the Indian groups, they call it uh, gum. It doesn't taste all that bad either. Also, in the same spruce tree, as long as we're here, if you take a spruce or a pine and cut the bark, peel an area off, we want to get between the wood and the outside bark. What we're looking for is the inner bark. It's called a cambium layer. It's white. And there it is right there. This, again, is very nutritious. A real good source of vitamin C. It doesn't taste all that bad either. So the spruce tree is a good example of how nature has put everything out here for us. All we got to do is be able to recognize it. Here we've got a small spruce tree, and you already know that this thing is edible. But what do we have growing amongst it here? Take a look at this. These are rose hips from last year. Good source of vitamin A in the seeds. A lot of vitamin C, good source of sugar. That tastes pretty good. Another good source of energy 
and another plant that you can find all over in the wintertime. All we have to do is take the snow and wipe it away. And there's been cranberries that have been fresh frozen. Excellent source of sugar, vitamin C. So food's every place. All we have to do is know where to look for it. It's all been put here for us.